after you take off your existing shower head, you want to be careful to check for a rubber washer that was used to seal off the original shower head. We want to remove that. When we install the shower start valve, we do not use rubber O-rings or rubber washers, rather we use Teflon tape. So you want to make sure that's gone because as you can see, this ring is a perfect fit for the back of this valve. And if it's not removed, you'll clog up the valve and you won't get normal flow. We use PTFE or what's commonly known as plumber's tape. This comes with your product. So just wrap your plumber's tape around in a clockwise direction. This will create the seal between the valve and the shower pipe so that you don't have any leaks. I simply take the adapter, screw it onto the end of that pipe. I can tighten this with my hand because I have enough leverage. Leave the cord hanging so it faces the outside of the shower. And now I'm ready to attach the shower head. Again, I apply plumber's tape to the threads instead of using a ring. Now we're going to apply the plumber's tape directly to the end of the valve, just like we applied the plumber's tape to the end of the shower arm. Again, we don't use a washer here because we want to make sure we're keeping the valve free of any potential blockages. So just wrap that, type, that tape around to create a nice seal. And then we can attach the shower head. Now I attach the shower head to the valve just like I would attach it to a shower arm. It's all standard half inch NPT fittings, so it just screws on normally. Um, you may need to use a wrench to tighten. If you do, that's fine. Just use a cloth so that you don't scratch up the chrome. But now my shower head's installed. It's cold water will run out of the shower head until the hot water arrives. Once the water reaches 95 degrees, the shower head will automatically reduce its flow to a trickle. This is what saves the hot water from running down the drain while the user is away. The trickle indicates that the shower is now warm and it's ready to be used. To take your shower, simply pull the cord to resume your normal water flow and step in.